Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. This is going to be the video for the Superstar Steak Shake-Up for SmackDown. On um, This is going to be April 17th, that I believe is the date for Tuesday. Um, I made a video for this uh, earlier about Monday Night Raw, basically talking about three people who I think will jump ship uh, from Raw to SmackDown. Um, in that video, basically I covered... Um, AJ Styles, Randy Orton, Sami Zayn, uh, Kevin Owens, The Usos, New Day, and Tomasa Ciampa. Um, I really think that this is going to be a fun superstar shakeup. I've always liked it because of the fact that you know it's not like the um, the WWE draft used to be when they took away you know the podiums and the GMs coming out there and basically selecting somebody and you know basically just putting the rotating faces on the screen where it was almost like somebody pulled. Um, a lever uh, on the slot machines in, in Vegas, and, and and it was sort of just like randomly luck, you know, who popped up, even though you could tell that it was computerized images, and they, they knew who was going to land on. I think it took a lot of the a lot of the uh, the fun out of it. Even the way they did the uh, the second. Um, uh, episode of the uh, um, WWE draft where they drew ping pong balls um, out of there and then randomly selected somebody that was where Paul Heyman jumped from SmackDown to Raw and SmackDown ended up selecting um, Triple H. Um, that was kind of fun, but just the the, 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 the the pictures flying around and just landing on somebody um, didn't seem fun to me. Um, first SmackDown, I believe that I'm going to kick this off by talking about the main eventer I think they're going to select. And the main eventer I think they need to get is Finn Balor. Finn Balor easily came into WWE um, riding high off his success in uh, New Japan and NXT. Um, he was sort of looked at as that new blue chipper, as Jim Ross would say, the um, the guy that was going to go right to the main event and maybe be the savior, I guess you can say, of WWE. Um, in his you know first big match wrestling for the Universal Championship, he ended up winning it, but at the same time um, suffered an injury. Um, since returning from that injury after WrestleMania 32, um, he's wrestled for for the WWE Championship one time, um, and I believe in a five-way at SummerSlam, um, but has never gotten that that single shot to, to go after the championship, never gotten his rematch, um, and here we are two years later down the road. Um, obviously, Vince McMahon doesn't have the highest praise for Finn Balor, thinking that he's going to be the guy. There was rumors last year that Balor was going to get a championship shot at Survivor Series, which uh, then turned in um, to the next pay-per-view, which never really came to be. It, it never happened. So uh, I think that, you know, a jump, to SmackDown and becoming sort of the main guy on SmackDown, it's not anything less to be the WWE champion of SmackDown. Look what AJ Styles is doing. Some people think that he's one of the best wrestlers there is in the world. And obviously being able to jump to SmackDown, a show that people think is the wrestler's wrestling show, I guess you can say there's more wrestling there than entertainment, um, would be a really big kick in the pants for Balor to go there, especially if AJ was to stay there. Um, you could have Balor versus AJ matches. Um, maybe Finn Balor could get the uh, experience to jump ship and be a heel, where I think he's going to be even more of a force in WWE once they you know, sort of tap into that heel character um, that he had when he was wrestling in New Japan. Um, I, I really think that Finn Balor is the future of wrestling, and, and once they get to the point of finding how to use it and actually roll with it, I think that you know WWE could reach higher heights, uh, honestly, than it is right now. Uh, I know that a lot of people were looking forward to seeing Finn Balor's first WrestleMania entrance, and it didn't really go the way that they thought it was going to with the, him uh, not coming out as the Demon, which didn't really make a lot of sense um, for that storyline that they were running for the Intercontinental Championship. But for him just to come out there and have just a whole bunch of people run out there wearing his T-shirt, um, didn't really make a lot of sense um, at the same point. Um, these guys, I, I didn't really select them because at the time I at, at the time I selected this, I, Finn Balor wasn't my first choice uh, to jump over during the Superstar Smackdown uh, uh, shakeup. But uh, the club 
is my tag team of choice to jump. Obviously, they need this more than anything else. They came in uh, to WWE at WrestleMania 32. Um, they battled the Usos. Um, uh, you know, they I think they fought the Usos for a few months without winning the tag team championships. I know that they won them and they had a short reign with them, but it took a long time for them finally to be able to to, to, to pull those straps in. And since you know, basically winning the championship and losing it, they really haven't done a whole lot. Um, obviously, they're not really you know, being able to cash in on the success that they had over in New Japan. It's almost like these guys are just two guys. Um, they started teaming them together um, around Raw 25 when they put the club together. Um, now you see these guys rocking the OG BC um, t-shirts every once in a while, but you can really tell a lot like, you know, when it was John Cena teaming with Crime Time um, that, you know, they're not really on the same level as, as Finn Balor. Uh, and when they did the last Superstar shakeup, um, basically they were teaming with AJ Styles and, and they, they split that team up, even though they say the club still lives on. Um, you don't really see the allegiance uh, between AJ and them anymore because AJ for a long time was still wearing the club jacket. He's had it worked into his attire and I don't know win but it just sort of just fell off um so i mean if, if it was to happen the way that i think it's going to happen the club aj styles and finn balor could all be together uh and maybe do that possible bullet club reunion that a lot of people have been looking forward to for a long time in WWE, and also to cash in on that right now i even though i think that finn balor could be the main guy which could lead to it they could tell a storyline of AJ being the champion, Finn Balor being the United States champion, and the club being the tag team champions. And maybe they do the whole sort of Kenny Omega versus uh, Cody Rhodes storyline where basically the club is torn down from the inside. Um, and um, you, you find out who the top guy is by Finn Balor um, beating AJ Styles. Do some storyline where AJ wants to take it too far um, by beating somebody up and, and Finn tries to stop it. Anything like that would happen. I think it would be really cool. Um, for somebody that I think is going to be promoted from NXT, I'm going to go with Almas. Almas who just lost uh, the NXT championship on the last NXT takeover um, to Aleister Black. Um, I think that you know he has run his course on the storylines that he's been there. He's just tied up his storyline with uh, Johnny Gargano before, you know, Gargano um, was forced to leave NXT. Uh, I know that you could run a little bit of stuff between his girl. Um, I can't remember her name. Honestly, I don't think I've ever learned it. Between her uh, and Candice, it looks like they have a lot of uh, things. But I think Almas needs to come to the main roster with her. And I think that he would be a really good kick in the pants to SmackDown because, you know, ever since... Um, you know, Rey Mysterio has left, and ever since um, uh, Rey, Myster uh, Rey Mysterio has left, and uh, Alberto Del Rio have left, it, they, SmackDown really was sort of built around having that, that large Spanish or Mexican star. Um, you know, Mysterio was a big part of the company. They liked to treat uh, Batista uh, like he was, and I think that was really the backbone of, you know, what... Um, SmackDown really was, and I, I, I think that uh, having Almas there, um, even if it's as a heel, um, could really help them when they go do tours of Mexico. Um, and you know, ever since Mysterio has left uh, and Del Rio as well, they've been really looking for somebody to headline those shows and uh, and bring people to them. Man, it's really starting to rain. Um, Superstar Shakeup is going to be really fun. Uh, I think those are the names that are going to jump uh, from Raw to SmackDown as well as being called up. Um, so let me know. I want to see some videos. Obviously, this year's Superstar Shakeup has had less videos uploaded than ones in the past.